Hi, my name is Steven. I'm an intern for Chi Alpha at the University of Central Arkansas. And this is the last day of week six. And so the overall theme of this week has been seeing Jesus in scripture and how he interacts with, with people and others and to study it, to know how to go and do likewise. And so to, we've been studying it to see how to, to speak as he speaks and to, to listen to his people as, as he listens and to, to do as he, he does. And so to finish this week, uh, we're going to be talking about Jesus' humanity. Um, and so it's easy. Uh, we, we have to come to know Jesus both in his divinity and his humanity. And so it's easy to, to, to see his divinity all throughout Scripture, um, all his, his miracles and his healings and all the things that he did. Um, uh, however, we lose something incredibly beautiful when we uh, neglect the humanity or the human nature of God or, uh, for Jesus because he is fully God, fully, fully human. And so Jesus uh, lives his life and, and she really shows us how to be, become and live as the fully human that we're supposed to be. God, he comes in and shows us the, the perfect example of how to be human. One who uh, we are flawed and dependent on him, um, but charged with this, this task to go and subdue the earth and to worship him with our lives. And so uh, in this, I pray that we, uh, as we study Jesus more, we come to obviously love him more and to understand the life that he lived and to, to live according to how he lived. And so one passage uh, that we get to see the um, humanity of Jesus is the story of, of Jesus interacting with children. And so if you have your Bible, and you can turn with me to Mark 10, verses 13 through 16. People were bringing the little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. And so it's easy to, to read this passage um, and, and to just skip right through it and be like, oh yes, like I, I have to have childlike faith to enter the kingdom next. Um, but I want us to really just take a moment and, and, and think about it and like think about the, the imagery of being one of the kids interacting with Jesus for the first time. Like, say you've, you've grown up and you've heard stories all about him, um, but he's finally in town and you get to walk up to him and like he accepts you with loving arms and like hugs you and squeezes on you and, and laughs with you and makes jokes with you and like you see just his smile and like he calls you by your name and says like, like I want you, like I see you and like uh, you're loved and seen. And so that's the kind of stuff that like changes people and like we get to see just how beautiful Jesus is that he's this, this God, like he is, he is God. Um, and he's fulfilling like this, he's the Messiah. Uh, and yet he still has this, this human nature that he, he longs to be with us and to be with his kids. And it's just so incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Um, and so uh, I want to, to read a, a poem from a guy who, uh, from the perspective of, of this, of seeing Jesus. And like, as I read this, um, I want us to, to close our eyes and to really just meditate on, on these words. Teach me your ways, teach me your way of looking at people. As you glanced at Peter after his denial, as you penetrated the heart of the rich young man and the hearts of your disciples, I would like to meet you as you really are, since your image changes those with whom you come into contact. Remember the John the Baptist's first meeting with you and the centurion's feeling of unworthiness and the amazement of all those miracle, who saw miracles and other wonders how you impressed your disciples, the rabble in the Garden of Olives, Pilate and his wife, and the centurion at the foot of the cross. I would like to hear and be impressed by your manner of speaking, listening, for example, to your discourse in the synagogue in Capernaum, or the Sermon on the Mount where your audience felt you taught as one of those uh, who has authority. Um, and so today, uh, for application, before we, after this is over and before we start our day, I want us to really take, take some time and meditate on, on Jesus and the life of Jesus and how he interacted with people and how 
I can't, have you ever been in a situation where someone comes into a room, it comes into the room and all of a sudden the atmosphere is completely changed and you, uh, there's just a, a, a livelihood now about it and like it's not, it's not stale but it's, it's alive and full of warmth and joy uh, and like smiles and laughter. That's the life Jesus lived. He was able to say a person's name and completely alter their eternity. And so today as we interact with people, whether it's our physical children or us, our neighbors are going, uh, getting checked out in the grocery store, whatever it is, like I want you to, to beforehand think about how you can interact with them and um, do as Jesus did and speak as Jesus spoke. Um, to these children um, to where you can change the atmosphere and walk with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and so let's pray. Yeah, Jesus, I thank you so much for the example that you gave us. Uh, God, that we're not alone in this, that we're not just charged with this, 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 this task to, to go and, and change people's lives and to, to bring them closer to you and to um, help them come to know you and to know your love without having an example. God, that you show us what it means to be fully human. God, to embrace our, our flaws and our weaknesses, but to the delight and the strengths that you give us and the dependency we have on you to become fully uh, who, we were, who we were always meant to be uh, and to worship you fully. God, so I pray that today as we go out and, and interact with others, um, that we're able to, to change them. God, that we're, they're able to see the difference that you've made in our lives, God, because you are incredible and you have changed our lives and you're beautiful. God, so I pray this all in your sweet name. Amen. Thanks, guys.